Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the webpage below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. We found at our website www.cat3c.com but for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. An island appears 30 degrees to the left of the centre line on an airborne weather radar display. What is the true bearing of the aircraft from the island if at the time of observation the aircraft was on a magnetic heading of 276 degrees magnetic with a magnetic variation 12 degrees west? A. 038 degrees true B. 234 degrees true, C. 054 degrees true, or D. 318 degrees true. In order to calculate a true bearing from the island to the aircraft, the first thing we have to do is to calculate the true bearing from the aircraft to the island. In order to do this, we use a very simple formula. Heading plus relative bearing equals bearing 2. Now you will notice that the heading that we have at the moment is a magnetic heading of 276 degrees magnetic. Therefore we need to convert this into a true heading. To do this we go back to Cadbury's Dairy Milk Very Tasty or Compass Deviation Magnetic variation true. What do we know? What are we looking for? We know that the magnetic heading is 276 magnetic. We know that the variation is 12 degrees west and we're trying to find the true heading. Identify the direction of the variation being westerly. The arrow points to the left, meaning that as the arrow always points to the larger number, magnetic is greater than true by 12. 276 degrees magnetic minus 12 degrees west gives us 264 degrees true. So that is the true heading of the aircraft. Now I'm going to clean this section off so we can proceed. Now we know the heading of the aircraft is 264 degrees true. We need to find the relative bearing in order to find the bearing too. Now the relative bearing in this case states 30 degrees to the left of the center line. Now relative bearings are always measured to the right. So 360 degrees of circle minus 30 degrees to the left gives us a relative bearing of 330 degrees, sometimes written with an R after the numbers. So the relative bearing in this case is 330 degrees. Heading plus relative bearing, 264 plus 330 gives us a bearing to of 594 degrees true, and that is to the island. So the bearing to the island is 594 degrees true. Of course we can't have 594 degrees because 360 degrees is the maximum. So to convert this we have to subtract 360 degrees 
from 594, leaving us with 234 degrees true 2. Now you will notice that 234 degrees true is one of the optional answers. But remember, this is the bearing from the aircraft to the island. What we have been asked for is the bearing from the island to the aircraft. In order to find this, we simply take the reciprocal of 234 degrees true, also known as the back bearing, and in order to do that, we simply subtract 180 from 234, which is going to give us a final answer of 0, 0.54 degrees true from. So your final answer is option C, 0, 0.54 degrees true. We can also represent this as a very simple diagram. Using true north as the reference, the aircraft is on a heading of 264 degrees true, which is approximately that angle. We know that the island is 30 degrees to the left of the, head of the aircraft heading. So that would be pointing down here. One island. And that's approximately 30 degrees to the left. From a diagram, we can see quite easily that the true bearing to the island is less than the true bearing of the heading of the aircraft by 30 degrees. So 264 minus 30 degrees is 234 degrees true. But as we pointed out earlier, that is from the aircraft position to the island. In order to get the bearing from the island back to the aircraft, we have to take the reciprocal place a north reference at the island and simply measure the island, the angle, sorry, from north back to the track line, back towards the aircraft. That would be the reciprocal of 234. Minus 180 is 0, 054 degrees true. This angle, therefore, is 0, 054 degrees true. And that's how we represent it diagrammatically. Thank you.